Fox Business Alert. We've been talking so much about AI powering so many things. Well, voice AI, voice recognition, is powering more and more drive throughs across the nation. Restaurants like Jersey Mike's, Chipotle, Panda Express, Papa John's, and Five Guys are all piling into this technology thanks to SoundHound AI. Here's how it works. Listen. Let's go faster. Start over. Pulled pork burger, lettuce wrapped, brownie, onion rings, spring water, vanilla cupcake, delete the first item, french fries, get rid of the spring water, strawberry milkshake, scratch the onion rings, side salad with blue cheese, delete the brownie, chocolate chip cookies, remove the french fries, classic cheeseburger with American cheese, bacon, avocado, lettuce, tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, and pickles, and no onions with a double patty on a pretzel roll. Delete the brownie. Who deletes the brownie? That was cool. But this company has been able to advance to the point where it can get those types of complicated uh, orders right. Well, the company just beat on top and bottom line in its third quarter report. But year to date, the stock has soared more than 297 percent. It is selling off today in the wake of a little bit of a disappointment for its outlook. But let's get to the co-founder and CEO, Kayvon Mohajer. He joins me now live from Silicon Valley in a Fox Business exclusive. Uh, that was impressive. Does it really work that well? Yeah, well, first, thank you for having me. And uh, yeah, absolutely. We've been at this for almost two decades. Uh, it, I did my PhD at Stanford in speech recognition and voice recognition and machine learning. And my dream was to see what we have in Star Trek mm -hmm. and bring that into real life. So talking to robots and devices and computers. Well, Star Trek it is, um, because I, I think I speak for a lot of people who in the past have tried to get this right, where they pull up to the drive through and everything's a mess. And finally, a human has had to step in. But yours has improved more and more. And I, I'm, I'm guessing that's why everyone from Chipotle to Jersey Mike's is using your technology. But how have you gotten to the point? What is it that has let you reach this level? And is it that you've created some type of voice recognition AI that continues to learn? And how are you training it? Uh, yeah, so, so first we own our tech. The majority of the tech that is in our products we own and we've developed over you know, the last 20 years and we've perfected it you know, iteratively over time. Uh, we have our own data. Uh, we have billions of hours of data, billions of queries from real interactions in dozens of languages, and really good algorithmic genius uh, innovations that we use to make the, make the technology better. Uh, you know, there are, there are players that are using APIs from others, like, you know, Google API or others. And, you know, even if those APIs are good, you hit limitations uh, to, to bring your vision to reality. And, uh, but because we own our tech, we can go back and redo it and make it better and make it work and, and make it as good as you see today. Well, how are you doing that? How are you training it? Are you using, because we know that with Gen AI, they've been maybe sometimes not quite legally using everything from the New York Times to the Wall Street Journal and just inputting it to let it learn. How do you train these types of voice activation, this type of voice recognition technology? You know, we spent a lot of money in the early days. Again, this has taken a long time, like 20 years, and we spent a lot of money collecting data, but then we had uh, real users from real products, uh, and that gave us a lot more data to use. For example, we are in millions of cars, we are in millions of TVs, we are in you know, over 10,000 restaurant locations, we, we have 200 enterprise brands using our applications, mm -hmm. um, and that gives us the data that we need to make our product better. So you have a very broad spectrum of customers. It's not just restaurants. You're in the auto industry as well. I mean, I look and I see that uh, you've got everybody from Jeep to Hyundai and a lot of different names. And then the, the technology, NVIDIA's taken a stake in you guys. I know that. Um, Snap, Qualcomm, Samsung, LG. So what do you do for those types of customers? So, so we made two predictions. Uh, one is that uh, people will prefer speaking to devices. Right, so cars is an obvious choice, but you know TVs and then eventually billions and billions of IT devices. So we, speaking is more natural. So we, we're going to prefer speaking. Now the technology wasn't ready, uh, you know, until uh, you know this vision. Even Bill Gates had this vision a few decades ago. But the technology had to catch up. But now the finally technology is ready and people are adopting it. So all the product creators need is now is a small inexpensive microphone, it's like 50 cents microphone and a partner like SoundHound. Cool. So okay. we power a lot of products. Um, we provide a visual assistant to products. 
The second prediction is AI customer service. We think every business is going to have its own AI agents, whether you're a single location barber shop to a global financial institution. And we provide the AI agent customer service for businesses. I'm hearing you say that we're pretty much in the first inning of AI voice recognition. Your stock over the past year jumping about 254 percent. But you got to talk to our investment audience before we go. What does the path to profitability look like? Because right now you are not profitable. Uh, yeah, so we, we are not and we are constantly balancing between investments in growth and innovation and profitability. Uh, our financial, we are financially strong. Uh, the balance sheet has been a source of strength for us uh, this year. Um, and uh, we increased our guidance yesterday. Uh, we um, bought for this year and next year. So this year's revenue is going to be between 82 and 85 million. Next year is going to grow to 155 to 175 million. Mm. And we expect to reach adjusted EBITDA positive by the end of next year. By the end of next year. We'll be watching it. Thanks. Good to see you, Kayvon. Thank you so much for having me.